By the way, all my dreams are in Iruma Saba. I've never had a dream in this Babylon <laughs> language. No, I've Ru never. Hey, Rusamba Mech, I've never. Rusamba Mech, because it came from abroad, hey, over the seas. Rusamba Mech, over the seas. The people who kicked water up to here. <laughs> but all in all, the Bama Saba are great people, original people, mm. the people of the covenant. Covenant box is with us in Africa, the black man, the original man, the black man, the real man. We were created here. All of history tells us that we were created here. We are honored to have you yeah. today. Thank you. We just want you to help us expound on the yes. issue of the Bama Saba dance. Yes. How yes. many dances do the Bama Saba have? A number of them. First of all, by names, Mosila John, and by my culture, I am the epitome of history of uh, my culture and uh, the background of history is inheritable. I am sorry that I've not written this, my young lady kimono, but of course ours has been always oral history and possibly you can come down to write. I have manuscripts, yes, I've not had the time to publish, but otherwise I want to say I'm Rasaman who jabbles no man cast the mighty uh, lion of iron of the Masaba land, Masaba land of Africa. Now, you ask me about the dances of Ba Masaba, yes. a number of them. Mm -hmm. One, there were those dances for jubilation. There were dances for mourning. There were dances for graduations. Yes, a bit jubilative, but for purposes of uh, graduation. And I will mention them. And then there were dances simply for excitement. Mm -hmm. People are doing their own and they are excited and they did it. I will begin with the sorrowful ones, but those which were of history. Historical in nature, cultural in nature. The Bama Saba did not bury their dead, no. Barrio is a colonial issue. Barrio is on the advent of colonialism that demanded that we must bury. Maybe for purposes of sanit I mean, sanitation and whatever, so they introduced that kind of thing. Although, of course, barrio is very African. If you go back to the history of Egypt and those of you who, re who read Egyptology and are well grounded in it. Now, this type of dance is one of the 10 pillars of Bamba Saba. We have 10 pillars, characteristically 10 pillars. The 10th pillar is called Ifumbo, knowing about the dead of your clan. And at intervals between the space of five to 10 years, when new initiates have come up, a new generation is coming up, they would bring the skull of your ancestor. And the skull would be displayed before you. Then the historian, who is not from the clan, the historian who would give the history, who would give the thread of history, would come and teach you how you came into existence, how you became that clan, either the minor or major clan. He would tell you about your weaknesses. He would tell you about your uh, okay. great issues. He would tell you about what you are. You are the genealogy and everything like that. Now, Thereafter, you would pay him a cock, a, a he goat, and a cow or a bull. You see? Then he would leave. He doesn't eat. And he comes from a clan of specialists who, are, who dispense this teaching. And that kind of a pillar is called Kumuse. And these are specialists in Kumuse, one of the ten pillars. You see? This is pillar number ten. This is another pillar now coming to uh, patch up with number 10. After this man goes, you celebrate. You have the skull, which maybe is 50 years, 100 years old before you, but the children, the younger ones, the old, are seeing the skull of Mr. Musila. Mr. Musila. For them, one, to know that we came from that. Two, to know that we will be like that. You see? So that you don't fear death. Among the stars, our clans, 
if a man, an old man, was about to die, you don't die mourning and crying. No. I, actually, I saw one of my grandfathers, Kilani grandfathers, who even called a meeting. Very sick. Bedridden. But he called a meeting. And they said, my children, this one is this. The only person who he doesn't give hairship on is a wife. Mugisu? Muma Saba? To say that you inherit my wife? No. That one, abominable. Completely abominable. You, you don't do that. But all the rest, my son, you will keep your, your siblings. My daughter, you are the eldest. You will keep your siblings like that. And that old man, around three, he died. But he was talking very well. So, among Esiba Masaba, in front of death, you don't have to panic, you must accept. And die peacefully, whether natural death or even artificial death. You don't have to die shouting, oh my, they're killing me. What? No, 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 no. It is a curse to your uh, genealogy. It is not good. If somebody shot me now, and I know I'm going to die. I would say, okay, bye-bye, my children, bye-bye, my grandchildren. But you say, oh my, I'm dying. In no, 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 that is wrong. You are cursing your own genealogy. You are cursing your own children. You don't know that. So the purpose of Ifumbo was celebrating the dead. It is some kind of remembering the dead, but physically. Now we are going to a laboratory. You are seeing the scar of your great ancestor. You see? So our children were taught in a real laboratory. Life lab laboratory. You would see. The little children would say, and know we are descended from that scar. Yeah? The middle-aged would know we are descended from that scar. That is Ifumo among the stars. This is why even in the Bible, in the Bible, where was Abraham buried? But the subsequent generations, including Joseph and others, would go back to the same. You see? We are the people who taught the Jews <laughs> what to do. If I tell you today that it is Bama Saba who taught Abraham and Sarah to circumcise, somebody will say, oh, no, 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 no. It's stupid. I'm sorry to use that <laughs> uh, derogative word, mm. but it's not that I intend. If you don't know, ask those who know. Rasta is the only one who knows. You see? You know, Sarai comes to Africa. Beautiful lady. Extremely sparklingly beautiful. That Abraham fears. But at the time in Egypt, the black people, Rastas like us, Bama Saba were there. And they were circumcising. But we are people of God. Now, Abraham deceives us, the Bama Saba, and he says, this one is my sister. Certainly we take over. But Jah, our God, tells us, no, that one is a wife to Abraham. We even summon Abraham while in Egypt at the time. And we said, Abraham, why did you deceive us? Remember that Sarah, the young, beautiful lady, had gone with us who were circumcised. And later on, what does, he, what does she do to Abraham? Please, can you circumcise? Read your Bible. Isn't it Sarah? Let's, from Sarai to Sarah who circumcised his man, how did she know where to circumcise? What did she want in the circumcision? Because Bama Saba of the time had taught her, because the way circumcised, she knew exactly what a circumcised man is and also circumcised the real husband, Abraham. And from that day, Abraham also declares that God, Jah, the Jah, where Hakaba Habumbi Bama Saba tells him to circumcise all his generation, all the slaves, everybody. Go to the Bible. This is about 3,500 years ago from today to, that, to, to then. You see? But the Bama Saba were already there. We were there. We have been around for over 4 million years. We may have moved from Egypt down this way. But we were there. I'm telling the truth. And I want you to take it. So, dance number one, like you said, is Ifumbo, which is one of the pillars, the ten pillars of Bama Saba. The second dance is that of circumcision. 
Usually it accompanies uh, either uh, wrist bells, chinyimba, chinyimba, or the thigh bells called bee change. Now, celebrating for about three, four days, people are celebrating. But we are going to circumcise. Initiatively, we are bringing these young people into our tribe. I fear, and by the way, I don't like using the word tribe. Because tribe, what is a tribe? What is a tribe? But that is a, a topic to be dealt with later. We are a nation, the nation of Masaba. As we came from Egypt, we were pushed down by these marauding Arabs and the whites and uh, all this Babylon. We came down to where we are today. But I want to say, this type of dance is for initiation purposes. We are going to get, you know, Imbalu is not the cutting. It is the war warrior dance. This is why we say it's on you, you are being trained. You are trained for the whole year. From January up to August when you circumcise, by the way. But we would follow the, the natural phenomenon. You are, uh, you are going to uh, harvest millet. There is a small bird that is sparrow. I don't know how to call it in English, but it's specific to only Bamasaba. Would eat of the grains of millet. It goes to the rivers. It builds on a certain uh, grass. Then the old men would go and check the eggs. It has laid, yes. They come back and tell the clans it has laid. Then they go back and check it has hatched. That's why they would say, Hayunina Congo Harure. I don't know in English that bird, it is a kind of spot, a very small bird. It is still there. You see how? The Bamasaba knew how to keep nature. And where they are going to have this bird is where they baptize, is a, a baptismal area, what we call Muitosi. Mm. Muitosi, where we paint and whatever. Remember, Jesus Christ was taken to the Jordan and was also done the same. Baptism, the Bamasaba already knew. Muitosi, the Bamasaba already knew. When I talk like this, some say he's, a, he's doing, a, he's a heretic, he's doing, he say he's becoming anti antichrist. No, no. I'm telling you, Jesus Christ is my Lord, and I know. He passed through all this, all the traditions of the Jews, which were given to them by Ibama Saba. He did them. This is why he became tough, and he still lives, in, lives on up to today. His name is great. You see? So I want to tell you this. So that you understand, including yourself, a young lady, mm -hmm. as a kimono. Mm -hmm. uh, hopefully, you are even also getting mesmerized, getting surprised that I'm talking all this. This dance is initiative. People will dance, younger people, not old men, not old women like us. No, it's for younger people, for younger people. And it is a moving dance. It is actually the African brass band. It's a brass band. It is the only dance where somebody dances while you're moving. Very <laughs> unique. It is not easy. When I was serving as a, a cultural minister of information, in Zuya Masaba, uh, I registered, I initiated, and we registered it as one of the best carnivals in Uganda, but it's only second in the world after Brazil. The biggest in the world after Brazil. Imbaru and uh, Katodi. And in Uganda, under Uganda Tourism Board, number one, we are registered, number one, mm. as a carnival. And the only one in Africa, number one. Second in the world after Brazilian right. uh, carnivals. So you see, these are some of the objects we must, we as Vama Saba, appreciate our rich culture. But we need also the cultural epitomes, the cultural academics the cultural philosophers, the cultural people who will have to get and search and research and not through asking people. Some of these things are prophetic. We are born with them. We are born with them. We have three, uh, three genealogies. We have Mwambu, the sons of Masaba are three. The other two ran away. They, got, they vanished. We don't know where they went. But they are Munyore and Mugwere. But the three of us who remained, Mwambu, the first one, 
we have Mubuya, the second one, where I'm generated also from. from there, yes. I know you are also, I mean, uh, Mubuya. Mubuya. Then we have the third one, is Wanare. Now you tell me, each of us have their own talents, bestowed on us by our ancestors. Mwambu is a great, a great pastoralist. Even today you went to people called the Badadiri, the Bamasaba called the Badadiri. Very rich people, even in the Kampala here. Baga home. If you come to the Babuya, ours is history. History. The fact that I have not done wrong to be here. Why can't I have people of the age, 59 like me, but, and some of them older, they may not talk what I talk. So it has a, a, a prophetic background because my ancestors did that. Because the person I'm named after, Musira, was a prophet. Musira Chapuruha was a prophet who prophesied in Kenya in 1800 and something like that. I found myself moving with this one. I didn't know until an old man told me that you move with it like the person they named after you. I didn't know that. But I found myself doing this. I want to compare it with the Bible because you people are more used. Jesus Christ, our Lord, is transfigured on the mountain. On the mountain is transfigured, and you know it very well. When he's transfigured, he has two other people, Moses and Elijah. They come to him. Remember that when Jesus goes into this uh, prophetic transfiguration, he becomes holy, and you could see that the, 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 the disciples were there, he changes form. He, be, he goes into what we would call a divine form. You see? Now. And they see him standing with Moses and Elijah. But between Jesus and the two, Elijah and Moses, 1,500 years, in between, tell me, does he do anything which is, uh, which Moses did not do or Elijah? If it is disappearing and going to heaven alive, Elijah and Moses went alive. He also goes alive. If it is walking on water, yes, Moses also, with his walking stick, uh, parted the water of the Red Sea. So every miracle. If it is the dead, Elijah uh, rose 400 skeletons to become people. Jesus also did the same. So equally, you know, people who have lesser brains don't understand the genealogy and the genetics. The human body knows itself. Mm. I resemble my ancestors and I resemble human beings millions of years ago. My body has never forgotten. Somebody is taking a small brain and it says, you know, you don't care. No! The whole system knows that it is a human being, mm. a sapien, 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 the upright man, mm. the wise man. You see? Your body knows it, you don't know. You don't know. You are using a small, uh, I, I mean, uh, how heavy is, uh, is a brain? brain. <laughs> Less than one kilogram. <laughs> but I am 90 kilograms. You see? 90. Mm. Why do you want to use one, one uh, less than one kilogram to control the 90? Control the 90. <laughs> no, the body knows. I resemble my great grandfather heavily, only that I'm taller. Heavily. I saw him when I was still too young. I saw him, he was very brown and whatever, but short. You see? But people who saw him, like my father, because he was his grandfather, say, You are a replica of your great grandfather. You see? So did I apply? I didn't. I don't know. The body knows. The body has memory, sharp memory. So the brain memory is too little, less than one kilogram. It's too little. It can't remember what I now. What I want to say, sorry for deviating. I want to say that he, 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 Kadodi accompanies circumcision and initiation, mm. initiating the younger people into our nation of Bamasaba. The third is what we would call Inemba. Now, here we are initiating the younger people, both boys and girls. One year this year is for boys. We are going to mark it with cutting their skins by August. And under the natural phenomenon of millet 
and that bird I told you about, mm -hmm. the small sparrow called Handa Congo. You see that? Now, the next year, uh, an odd year is for girls. Before these days, we use it to circumcise girls. And I want to be right on this. And don't think that I'm obscene. I want to be direct. I know I have daughters here, but they should know this. I am aware that a woman has some kind of dwarf male genitalia. Dwarf male genitalia with a skin. A skin which brings what we call female, uh, how do you call it, your cervical cancer. Now, the Bagisu, the Bamasaba, the Sabine, the people from the mountains knew that these falls, these dwarf male genitalia is a problem mm. and they cut it off. This is why among us, the Sabine, very hard to get cervical cancer, almost impossible. My own great grandmother, Hapuondi, was circumcised. She died naturally. Moseba Gisu, Moseba Masaba were circumcised. And they did not suffer any, uh, any sexual infections or rather what I would call cervical cancer. I want you, if you are a medical doctor trained in the Western style, argue with me. Call me. If the female genitalia doesn't have a dwarf male genitalia with a foreskin, with a foreskin, and it is that foreskin when you mature, which rots up and bring cervical cancer. cancer. I am being, I'm not obscene in any way. These are facts. These are medical, clinical facts. If you want to argue with me, the Bamas have started circumcising centuries ago. Today you are proving that male circumcision, what you call safe circumcision, safe, safe, male, circumcision. Uh -huh, safe male circumcision. We should have safe female circumcision, <laughs> yeah, which you call FGM. What? What mutilation? Uh, uh, when they circumcise me, uh, are they mutilating me? Are they mutilating me? Because if you are talking about homosexuality and there is transsexuality, eh? a yeah. young girl, beautiful like mm -hmm. her, transforming herself to become a man, what do you do? Don't you, manager, you give her a false male genitalia? You see? Why do you do that? Are you not, is that not mutilation? Why do you call ours mutilation? You see? I should even bring in the parliament uh, a law that we should have safe female circumcision. Oh. True. That is it. That is it. Because after all, you want your, your, your homosexuality. This is the truth. This is the truth. I know I, will go, I may not get a certificate, a certificate from the government. But this is the truth. And let me tell the truth. I am a supporter of female genital mutilation. Not mutilation. Genital <laughs> circumcision. There is no mutilation. <laughs> you mean I am born of uh, my great grandmother who okay? was circumcised? Mm. Am I dead? <laughs> I am here. Mm. You mean the old tribe of uh, Sabine are dead? They are there. What about the Nandis in Kenya? All Kalenjin in Kenya, including Sabot in Uganda. In my own constituency, we have Sabot. They are still hiding under circumcision. Are they dead? But have you ever seen? Give me, by national statistics, the cervical cancers coming from Sebei as compared to other tribes. Give me now. Give me. I'm challenging you. You see? Now, but sorry I, 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 I deviated <laughs> to that, but it is necessary that you know the facts. Now, the third area or, or so of dance, like I said, is in Nemba. It's graduation. You circumcise the boys with the katodi. Now you come to Inemba. This dance is younger people, old men are sitting around. The special drums are beaten, but in a stationary place, put together. Here, this was a mobile brass band, katodi. Mm. Here, the drums are in one place. Mm. One place. Actually stuck on logs and whatever. Yeah. And the people dance around. Now, the younger people, by generations, the, both the girls and the boys will see who to support to become a future husband or a future wife. wife. And so later on they go into an introductions and whatever. That's the third level of dance, but properly controlled by our elders.
It was not, you wouldn't just simply leave the younger people alone. No, the elders are there. The elders are there. At times, with their chisumbati, would also go around dancing. Eh? Go around. This is how we dance, almost a warrior dance. Mm -hmm. I'm demonstrating it while seated because I've gone all through these processes. The fourth type of dancing is celebrating. A small party, we used to have the harp. Remember the Davidian harp? David was a good musician in the Bible. Mm -hmm. David was a very good musician and a good player of a harp, which we call Ritung. The modern day jitter, whether acoustic or electric jitters, come from the harp. And it is only Ba Masaba who invented it while still in Egypt. Before we were invented, invented and we moved down to where we are today. Now the harp, the harp has seven strings, strictly, of Omu Masaba. Seven strings. Each string has a meaning. There is a weeping string. There is a mourning string. There is a string for joy. There is a string for prophecy. All of them. The Ba Masaba know it. And when it is playing, at times, when they are trying to recall and call on the dead to come back, uh, to possess us. They will play that string with high pitch. You see? That kind of thing. But people are celebrating. Then it is accompanied with others. Others like either Li Puswa, which I know how to play, mm. and Ruwe Ngere. Ruwe Ngere is half, either full or half uh, tray, a tree tray, mm. yes. dry tree tray. tray. Hewn mm. very well uh, to carry food or anything like that, mm. but also would serve the purpose of a musical instrument. Mm. Now, people play after the party, they are drinking, maybe they have gone a bit high and excited. They would play. They have the main instrument. Mm. Then we also had, we call it the violin. Mm. The violin. Uh, no, not litungu. Siriri. It is called Siriri. Violin, violin. All this would play. The violin has only two strings. And our people know how to twist and produce very good lyrics from this. You get me right? Yes. Now, that is the fourth. And mostly, we also had uh, training dances uh, for young girls, for younger boys, uh, while they were mm. maybe alone. They would do practice, what not like that, OK? Before they come to main display, mm. they would do practice. That's the fifth round, but they would do it while grazing cows, while doing what, Have or at the river, and even during harvesting, mm. you sing uh, to give courage uh, to whoever is doing the work. You get me right? Mm. Those are the dances for today. And possibly in the future, I will be doing this program, one in my language, and the language which I prefer, and uh, certainly I'm proud of, by the way, all of my dreams are in Luma Saba. I've never had a dream in this Babylon <laughs> language. No, I've Lu never. Eh, hey, Rusamba Mech. I've never. Rusamba Mech because it came from abroad, hey, over the seas. Rusamba Mech. Over the seas. The people who kicked water up to here. <laughs> so I have all my dreams and I'm very good. This is why I can't be very perfect in your language because it's to me, I don't know tenth language. I don't know it clearly. I can't express myself clearly and properly. No, I can't. But in mind, hiya, hiya, I'm an authority. I'm an authority and I would give you over uh, maybe 5,000 diction. Eh? By the way, my verbosity in my language is very good. But not yours, of course, this is. And in any case, you ask me, English, from where? Uh, who are the English? This Goan language, the Goans and what, who brought up this language? So it is not even English at all. Is a, a multitude. This is why in the 11th and 12th century, a woman who was married was called a husband. A married woman was called a husband. Uh. Today, is called a wife. You see? I'm telling you, because <laughs> I've studied all so this. So what was the man? What was the title of the that, man? that was the head of the family, and that is all. The, the husband was a married woman. Go and read these days, you know how to Google. The Bagisha also says, You go and Kukura. You go and Kukura. Yeah. 
kukura. No, we are spread out. We were created here. Yes, we were created here. We spread out on Africa. Eh, okay, okay. We spread out on we're Africa. Created on Mount but Masawa. later on, about 6,000 years ago, these people invaded us, leaving their own continents. You see? Leaving their own continents. They invaded us. This is why we are now crammed down in black Africa. The wall of north was black. If you check, read your Egyptology. Today I want you to go under Kukura, Google, <laughs> about the mummies of Egypt. Of Egypt yes. You look at Ramses II, Ramses IV. Uh, actually, he was... He uh, Tanta was Hamun. Chaco, he was Chak, Chaco Black. Chaco Black. They were I, black. I saw exactly. Them, I, I saw exactly. Them. I went to Egypt and I saw Now, that. we are people of the covenant. You go back to the... You, you are Christian. I am. Kimono, you tell me you are Christian now. Dorcas. Dorcas. Mm. Dor who was Dorcas? <laughs> Now, that one is another story you will Google, isn't it? Uh, yes. But I want to ask you, where is the covenant box? Where is it? The Jews, where is the covenant box? It is with us. It is in Africa. The fact that I'm a Rasta. It is in Ethiopia. It is in Laribela. What? But all in all, the Bama Saba are great people, original people, mm. the people of the covenant. Covenant box is with us. In Africa, the black man, the original man, the black man, the real man, we were created here. All of history tells us that we were created here. Five million years ago, eh, Australopithecines, whether Australopithecine Africanus, two million years ago in South Africa, the Australopithecus Zingathropus here in East Africa, eh, about two million years ago, whether Australopithecine eh, Afarensis, in Ethiopia, the Omo Valley, and I've had chance to see Lucy, the bones of our ancestor, Lucy, three times, three times. In Ethiopia, they carried the same bones in 2021. I saw it in, in, in Dubai during that expo, mm. and I have the pictures of the same. You can Google about Lucy, three million years old the original human, a lady, the mother to the race of the world. So if you are talking about the sapiens sapiens like you, then everybody is African, everybody is black. Only that the mutants went away. Those are mutations, maybe because of the environment. But the book in the Bible, which talks about you, who call yourselves white man, pink man, <laughs> You removed the books of Enoch from the Bible. Why did you do so? We have them in Africa. Rasta is having them. The books of Enoch. Today go under Google about the books of Enoch, which talk about white people. These are mu mutants. Mutant. Biology, you know. Mm, mutations. 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 Mutants. Mm. And Enoch writes about these mutants. Enoch writes about these mutants. They removed these books from the Bible. They removed them. Why? Good thing. Rasta, we are having the same. Good thing we have put them on the internet. And you can now read and know that white man is a liar. White man is a consummate liar who can only tell the truth by accident. I thank you. Who hey, jabbles no man cast? Hey, His Majesty Empress Lassai, the Iron Lion of Zion of Africa, the great man, the original man, the black man, the original man, the black man, the original race. Thank you. Rastafari. Who ja bless? Who ja bless no manikas? Who ja bless no manikas? I'm a blessed man. You are blessed. Lady Rasta. Lady Rasta. Lady Rasta. They are blessed. Lady Rasta and the Rasta man. Thank you so much. Who ja bless? No manikas. Rastafari. Rastafari. Thank you. Who ja bless no manikas? No manikas. Who ja bless no manikas? Who God blesses? No, no, no man, man will no cast. Never, never, never. never.